Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today we're gonna do some DIY projects. I have Luna with me, so sorry if she's a little in the view. Um, but we're gonna work on some fall and Halloween DIYs, all Dollar Tree materials except for like the paint, but you can get paint at the Dollar Tree. I just didn't need to get paint at the Dollar Tree. So we have our coffee in our meowgical cup because it's meowgical today. And a lot of the stuff we're doing, we are just taking perfectly good Dollar Tree stuff and transforming it to, me to meet my needs in my colorway and the, and the aesthetic that I want. So first we're gonna start with the Halloween project. So let me show you the materials. Okay, first step. We are gonna take one of these um, blank signs. Now, if you only have it in the natural, you can spray paint, girl, you can, girl, boy, you can spray paint anything you want. I happen to have been lucky and found a black one. Now, I already did this because I wanted to have it time to dry, but what I did is I took a straight edge ruler and I took, a Dollar Tree paint pen in white and literally I started down here and I drew lines across it now here's what I will tell you don't push hard draw the line fast and lift this straight up and then I'll show you why in a second I also have a glue gun here that's not from the Dollar Tree but the glue sticks are so what I did is I drew stripes all the way up. Now, if you can see, it's a little messy down there because I missed, I didn't get it as clean as I wanted. And then I sealed this with some spray paint. You don't have to. If you choose not to seal it, be very careful because this can scratch off the white. So I just made it a black and white stripe for our base right because that's what we do the spray paint also not from the dollar tree just so i'll tell you i got one of these pencil holders the green one spray painted it black not even perfect i could do like some cobwebbing on here if i wanted a little more spooky uh yeah i just took the little dealy off and i just spray painted it so hopefully our glue gun is hot let's see if it is not overly hot but we're getting there. Now, I'm just doing this to hold its spot on here. I might wanna wait a second for that to heat up a little more. So I'll show you some of the other things. I got some of these purple glitter spiders for this. Then I took a sign, literally one of these Dollar Tree signs with the black cat face in the middle popped off this. It's just cardboard. I spray painted it with purple spray paint and these little dots. Ah, there's a Dollar Tree tool. Hold on. I'm going to go get my Dollar Tree tool. Okay, I'm back. This tool here has little balls on the end. If you dip it in paint, you can make the perfect polka dots. I hope you guys are seeing this clearly but you can make the perfect polka dots. And I just did that around the edges just to make the cat stand out a little more. This size is with the fat end. You can use this on your nails, but you can also use it like to make lines and polka dots or on paper for scoring. Now also I took some of my Fix All from the Dollar Tree and I put a little bit of that on here. There we go. Now it's heated up. Um, and that's just a more permanent fix opposed to the glue gun, which is a fast fix. So I'm gonna glue this down here at this end, right? And I'm just gonna kind of center it my best and give it a good push. So the fix all over time you know, we'll dry it good and permanently. And the hot glue will dry it quickly for me. I do need one more thing I forgot. I'm not very prepared here, guys. 
Oh, I mean, I'm prepared except for my cart is around that I keep all my adhesives and stuff on. Don't mind my head or the hissing going on in the background. Okay, so I've got that piece there. It's not going anywhere, right? Now what we wanna do, I wanna cover the pumpkin with the black cat. Now I can easily just cover the pumpkin with the black cat and glue it down, but I would like to make it have more texture and more lift to it. So these stickers, let me get down here, are in the, I don't even know what section they're in. And they don't seem to be very adhesive right now. They're kind of just falling off. This is an older set. If I need to glue it, I can, but um, they're like mounting tabs. So we'll put one there. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. And then I'll do one like right here over the tip of the pumpkin. And I can use this little tool just to peel off the backing. These are like mounting tapes. They're used a lot in uh, paper crafting because they raise things up. And then we're gonna take our little kitty cat and he's a little off. He's a little raised, but I think I would like him a little more raised. So we're gonna go with the second one. And these come on a roll and they're fantastic. I feel like I see them more in the hardware section and less in the crafter square section. They also have other mounting things, but these are a little thicker. So yeah, there we go. And then you just peel the top off, put it in the trash and go back over here. Yeah, that's good. I like that height. Try to get him straight and push it down. And there we go, head done. How cool is that, right? I love it. Now down here, you can put anything you want in here, any kind of greenery, any kind of floral. I have a couple options. I'm not gonna style it just yet. We'll wait till the end, but I can totally put some purple floral in there or some greenery but I definitely want to put some spiders because that needs to happen. So I'm going to, I'm just pulling him off and I want to cut that bottom a little flatter. So I want to put a spider on here, right? And I'm using a pretty fair amount of glue because it's, hollow I would like to have that right here and then I'm going to do one kind of one or two like climbing their way up and you just pull that off and this is just plastic so I can just take my craft scissors not my good scissors because you know we don't use our fabric scissors have we all learned that yet? And then I want to put this guy just kind of going towards his friend, the black cat. And then I need to let all this dry. And then we'll put some flowers in there. And this could be a hanging sign. Now I did take the um, twine off and I'm going to use black ribbon that I also got at the Dollar Tree. You can use purple, you could use black. You, if you're more country, you can use the twine, that's fine. Cause this is kind of heavy, so you're gonna wanna have something pretty secure to hang this from your wall. So that is the first quick project we did. How easy is that? So I'm gonna move it off to the side, let it dry, and then bring in my next project. There's the finished sign. Guys, I think it turned out really well. All right, I got this box. I've had it for some time now. And I'm gonna take this Waverly wax. It's like a stain, but it dries faster. And you put it on like a stain. So you put it on and then you wipe it off. 
and it like stains the wood. I guess not like, it stains the wood. So I'm gonna get it open and show you how it works. Got that all waxed with this is Waverly from Walmart it's like a dollar 67 you could stain it you can paint it you can do whatever makes you happy but I wanted to stain stain mine okay now I took this faux leather trim that I found at Dollar Tree they come in all different colors uh, I think there's like a silver a gold a dark brown but I liked the lighter brown and I cut strips so I have three strips that'll match fit the front so I'm going to make it like leather accented if you will but we're not using real leather but we're using Dollar Tree leather so what I will do is take my glue gun here and I really want this piece sort of in the center oh I need more glue stick Glue sticks also from the Dollar Tree. And here's a little hack for you to get them to stick. Put a little hot glue here and then shove it in. And it will stick it to the, to the glue stick in front of it. Cool, huh? I saw that on TikTok, don't ask me who. Cause I don't remember. So then I'm just gonna do a pretty straight line here. And then I'm gonna take this to the center you kind of just want to be careful because there's really no moving it once it's down. So when it's down, it's down. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm probably going to fill this up with little pumpkins or uh, maybe those little apples and stuff that I found at the Dollar Tree in the little wooden fruit. Mushrooms. Oop, there we go. And then kind of just push it down. I also have, and I'll show you... Ooh. I think I miscut that. All right, one more. And then we're gonna put little side handles just to take it up one more little notch. But first, all right, got that down. And you can squeeze out any extra hot glue from the end. By the time I got there, it was cool enough. So on the sides, I'm gonna take another piece and you wanna make the pleather out. Now, if you really wanted to be very detailed, you could um, glue two pieces together, but I don't feel like it's necessary since, I mean, this is gonna be full of stuff, right? So it's just for looks, it's just our little Dollar Tree. Now you do wanna kinda of let that sit up for a second before you add your next drop of glue, come back around. And I just used the little holes in the side to tell me where I'm going to put my little handle. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. And just slide it in there and just kind of let it sit. And again, if it gets underneath, it's not that hot. I don't have mine set on the high temperature because it's not necessary for these materials. Ah, oh, I love it. Now, these words, I found a bag of little words from Dollar Tree. And I just did the little white paint to highlight them a little bit. And this says, hello fall. But I know they sell these at Hobby Lobby. They have them, they'll have them at the Target Dollar Spot, I bet this year. I'm just giving it a little touch of glue. We're gonna find the center and put it on there. Now, any of these little strands, I'll pick off once they're dry. Oh, guys, I love it. Look it, look it. Isn't that adorable? So easy, all Dollar Tree. 
100% Dollar Tree. Then I'll fill the bottom probably with some floral foam and put some pumpkins and it may go on a shelf. It could go in my tiered tray. If you attached everything into this little back, into this little crate, like with glue, you could put it in your tiered tray on an angle, but isn't that the sweetest thing? And this leather accent is really on trend according to Pinterest this year. So that's done, Dollar Tree. Right, crazy, easy. All right, let's get the glue gun out of our way here. Now, I'm gonna start painting this and then I will show you when I'm done. But I did buy some folk art paint, I think from Michaels. I'm not sure how much it is, but it's yellow ochre. This is moon yellow and this is dark brown. And what I did is I mixed my paints together well, I didn't mix the yellow and the ochre, just I mixed the moon yellow with a little brown and white to get this like mustardy color for the bottom. And then now we're gonna go, I'm gonna use some ochre. I just wanted three layers of yellow on here and then we're gonna take the brown over it. But I need to get these layers on and get them dry. So we can do the next step. I'm gonna like antique it a little bit. It's not really antiquing, but I mean, I guess it could be considered that, I don't know. Let's just paint, shall we? And there is our little Hello Fall basket with the leather front. Love, love it. Okay, we got a couple projects here quickly. I took one of these wooden apple things. I'm not even sure what you use them for, but I painted it black and then I put this sticker on it for my niece's classroom. I thought she could use it as a pencil holder on her desk. And her theme is like the rainbows and equality for her class. And then what I will do is um, Mod Podge or seal it, spray paint seal it. And she could have that for her classroom. $1.00. If you have a teacher that you'd like to bring a gift to, you could maybe decorate it for their class, put a gift card in here for them. Just an idea. But that was a quick Dollar Tree haul, uh, Dollar Tree item as well. Now we're letting the pumpkins dry. We'll get back to them. I took the ceramic um, figurines. I grabbed an owl, the two owls, and I also have downstairs the straw uh, scarecrow, but I don't have it up here, and I just spray painted them. This is like a copper color. This is the purple from my living room. Now, this one here is textured for the Day of the Dead, and again, I'm going back to these Dollar Tree paint pens, guys. They're just so easy. They work well, too. You just make sure that you've got your ink to the surface, right? So I'm just gonna draw on something. And then all I'm gonna do is color in, oh, I don't have ink to the surface, come on. You wanna make sure you have ink all the way down. I even store them upside down. And I'm doing this one in purple and white because I wanna show off all the detail in my living room. This is for Halloween and it's simple. I mean like so simple. I'm literally just touching on the tops of these little details. You don't even have to go all the way down the sides, which is why I spray painted it and did not paint it with ink. Now, when I use spray paint, I let it sit for a day or two to really cure. And that's it. I mean, see what I mean? Like you don't need to, you don't need to color around the whole of it. You really just need to touch it on the top. Now, if you can't find these paint pens, which is possible, you could do the dots with the tool I showed you, which is from the craft section. 
or you could just paint these. I mean, there's no reason that you can't paint them. Um, and paint pen or the paint markers at the craft store literally come in every color you could imagine. I've got a bunch over here that would be great if I wanted to do this the colors of the Day of the Dead. I just wanted it as an accent piece. And that's why I'm going with this purple. And I will color the whole thing just touching. I think I want to do these sides black on its face. Store your paint pens upside down. Works best. That one hasn't been... There, this one has. It just takes a minute to get the color where you want it. And so I'm just going to go with the black on the side here. Like how fast and how easy is that, guys? So that's what I'm going to do with the, day, the Halloween owl. And then for my scarecrow friend... I mean, my other owl, I might just give him like a little black brim on his hat. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like, I feel like we need to get over our need for perfection. And that's a big thing that I work on. Like, it's just cute. I created this, right? It's a dollar. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Throw it away. It's a buck. Give him some black eyes. And then I'm just going to do his whole color scheme. Like black, white, and gold. So I have a gold one here too. I like the metallics. So let's just say I want to do his belly here. These little... indentations. I'm just doing it with the gold pen. And then, you know, I might let it dry in between. Cute, huh? See, it's it's still wet. The paint does take a minute to dry, especially the dark colors. So what I will probably do is let them go ahead and dry between decorating you know I do want to fix his little hat a little bit I touched it there we go yeah so that's it maybe I'll make his eyes a little darker Ooh. I touched it down there and if you make a mistake like that um, I'm gonna go over it probably with white or I can just, there we go, got it. So I'm gonna continue on, I'll let you see me do the white one. We'll continue on and yeah, then we'll be done. And there is our finished owl. He's so cute. All right, friends, this has to be the messiest, yet most satisfying one. So, I've got paper towels here. I probably should have an apron on because this is messy, but I have also a wet cloth. We'll just do one. And your hands are gonna get gross. So you might wanna wear rubber gloves. But what we're gonna do is paint this whole thing, this brown color. And you wanna move, for something this size, you kinda wanna move a little quickly because you don't want it to really dry yet. So we'll do the top. My fingers are all gross already. And this, by the way, is not 100% dry. I would recommend letting your project dry 100%. But for video purposes, I am not heeding my own advice here. 
and I am filling in these letters. I'm not planning on having them shown just because I think it's a little more farmhouse than what I would really enjoy, if that makes sense. So we're putting this wax on here and then this is gonna take a minute. Got everything brown, right? Now we're gonna take and we're gonna wipe it off. And what it's gonna leave, and I'm not trying to get every little piece off, I want to leave the dark brown in the, you know, in between. <gasps> Guys, I'm telling you, and if you wanna try to find this, get to your Walmart to get this wax, I had a hard time finding it last holiday season. But that is what it's going to look like at the end. Hold on, I gotta show you. There we go. Isn't that wonderful? And if you compare the two, just that little one wash. Now, I think you could also just take some brown paint and do this. The wax in here is what kind of helps it make it more pliable. And by the way, if you wanted to do the words on that side, you can leave it out. But I wanted to see like the vertical grooves and the pumpkins and the little bit of texture. So I'm gonna do it again, but we're gonna do this one faster. I am in love with how those pumpkins turned out. Smitten! Guys, I'm in love. Here are the projects we did. There's Luna. We did one, two, three, four projects today. And I love them. So here is our vertical sign. So we've got the purple cat with the spider. And then I decided to go with the succulents just because I think it's fun. It may get changed up. We have our owl. I forgot the other owl, but that's okay. And then our tiered pumpkins. I love those stacked pumpkins. And then our little bucket. Guys, I am in love. And I sure hope you are too. All right, everybody. Have a fantastic day. Bye.